Apple iPad Air now has the same M1 chip as the Pro. Does this mean that the iPad Air can edit ProRes? Let's find out this video, should we? Let's go! Now, the price of the new iPad Air is remain the same. Okay, so if you want a value, value budget friendly, the iPad Air is perfect for that. Now, spend your money wisely on the storage because the iPad Air with the USB-C port, you can add it out of an external SSD drive. Make sure you get a fast SSD drive and get the base model of the iPad Air and you're good to go. And spend your money wisely on the actual memory. ProRes is very normal for M1 iPad users if they are into grading, okay? they will get the iPad Pro. But since now the iPad Air, the new one, has the same M1 chip, does this mean that LumaFusion now can edit ProRes as well. Right now, I'm just speculating only because I don't work for LumaFusion, LumaTouch. But from what I know, from what I read, from what I know so far about ProRes, the M1 chip, they can smash it. Okay? So good news there. Now the decision to go with push iPad is not a performance anymore. No longer a performance oh, issue. Yeah. Now, it's just which is suit your budget more. Uh, you want to upgrade to the iPad Pro? Please don't. If you want on a budget, and the iPad Air now have the M1 chip can do probably just speculating only but if you want to save some money the iPad Air now with the M1 chip now the iPad Air is a better route to go since now it can have the same M1 chip the same performance why spend more than you necessary right spend your money wisely on the storage a fast ssd drive so you have all your data in place when you edit check this video out here where i go through the buying process with you okay check it out here i'll see you next time with another video bye